as you have agreed with each other about the, the infinite potentiality and activated it and surrendered to it and said yes to it and applauded it and declared it and affirmed it, at that precise moment and the moments that you've been here, you've been co-creating a field of agreement about that which is real about you, that which is eternal, and that which is forever. And it trumps the field that you come, came out of. There is a field that, you know, you can't see a field with the sensorium, with the senses. You can't see gravity, but it's a field. You can't see magnetism, but it's a field. You see the evidence of such. Now, you've just come into a field of agreement about who you are and what you represent. And that field is now lifting you out of the field from the world that deals with lack, limitation, scarcity, fear, doubt, worry, separation, hate, rancor, resentment, unforgiveness, the normality of a climate of violence. That field, you're now not of that field. You're of a higher order of being. You're of a field in which you have agreed with each other, in short, that you want the mind in you that was in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. You're stepping into an awareness that the ground upon which you are standing is holy. You're stepping into an awareness of having that awakened awareness that Gautama the Buddha talked about. You're stepping into an awareness of under the aegis of Jesus the Christ where he said, come out from among them. You're coming out from the field uh, that is uh, uh, washing on your virtual and otherwise doorsteps, uh, bringing you the lowest common denominator of the human experience in terms of the, of the headlines. You're coming out of the field of that kind of normalized violence and fear and doubt and worry and stepping into a greater awareness that your life is indeed the life of God Almighty, God all beauty, God all joy. You're stepping into this kind of agreement which allows you to vibrate at a higher frequency, if you will, thus coming to a greater understanding of the theme of the month which is to frequent your highest frequency, to go there on a regular basis, lest you'll come under the onslaught of the highly charged thought forms that roll through the gamut of the human experience and take people down every single day. Because if you're not thinking for yourself from your higher order of being, then something is thinking for you. That field is thinking for you. And you give vent uh, uh, to a level of mediocrity. You give vent to a, to a level of fear, a level of worry, a level of doubt uh, that doesn't even belong to you. You're just uh, uh, available to the field of unresolved issues moving through the human experiential domain. That is not your lot in life uh, as a spiritual being. Uh, that is not your lot in life uh, to uh, become absolutely available to all of the highly thought, highly formed thought, highly charged thought forms that roll through the human experiential domain. No, your life uh, is the life of God Almighty, God all beauty, God all joy. So you're frequenting your highest frequency and uh, carrying a field of such coherence uh, where your soul is concerned is that you become a conduit of transforming knowledge, creative wisdom, divine understanding, perfect peace, and divine and compelling right action. This is where you are to live. This is why there's such an emphasis in our teaching around spiritual practice of affirmative prayer, soulful meditation, life visioning, fellowship, study, circulation of good, uh, wonderful service so that you become anchored in the field that's binding you to the eternal highest dimension of your own life. So as the world is going crazy, so to speak, as the world is uh, uh, chemicalizing, as the world is uh, moving in what is called the condensate, that is two things occupying the same space at the same time, the old is dying and the new is being born. That you're not caught up in the old, uh, that with this field that you have agreed to as we began in this service, you're more available to the inspiration that's coming directly from the mind of God. Somebody say, if you're willing, I'm available to more good than I can imagine. I'm available to more good than I can imagine. I'm available to more beauty than I can imagine. I'm available to more, I'm available to more power than I can imagine. I'm available I'm available to more abundance than I have ever experienced.
Spirits. So as, you're, as you are uh, agreeing with each other about what we have started out with at the beginning of the service, this is a field, this is a living field now. And you are to frequent your highest frequency on a regular basis until it becomes a new vibrational set point, until your nervous system has acclimated itself around that higher frequency so that in a moment's notice when things occur in the world, you are vibrating at the higher frequency. Thus, the topic of the day, which is to diffuse your, uh, the landmines of your mind. We're, on, we're diffusing the landmines of your mind. And all of you know by now, at least some of the veterans uh, uh, that are here, that we have a tendency to project our unresolved issues and things that aren't clear within us onto the world. And when things happen in the world, we inadvertently say, well, that caused me to be happy, or that caused me to be sad, or that caused me to be angry. And oftentimes we have forgotten that there are landmines within us that we have buried, that we have become unconscious about, and that when something happens in our life, those landmines explode, and we think it's out there, but it's really in here. Unresolved, undetonated, undiffused landmines. And not you, not you people, but your cousins that didn't come today. They, they need to hear this. I'll give you a pass for a minute. But, but we have these landmines that are within us. The fear, the doubt, the worry, the anger, the, the rancor, the resentment. All of that that it is there uh, from us not embracing uh, uh, those unresolved issues and having a level of introspection where we're able to separate ourselves from it, witness it, embrace it, and through our inner spiritual work, dissolve it and transmute it into higher frequencies. If it's just sitting there, something in you is going uh, uh, to, something in you will ultimately uh, explode based on what appears to be an external condition in the world. But that is not what your life is about. Your life is about uh, diffusing those inner landmines uh, and wiping uh, the slate clean, so to speak, with a total embracing of who and what you really are and a total embracing of those landmines uh, so that you can detonate them without exploding all over everybody else. You see, <laughs> without exploding everybody else. And so you have to ask yourself from time to time throughout the course of your day, LOP, level of the problem, or LOA, level of the answer. You have to ask yourself, is what about to come out of your mouth? Is it the level of the problem? Is it the level of the issue? Or is it the level of the answer, the higher frequency that wants to come out of you? Now, as that becomes a part of your checkpoint throughout the course of the day, you become conscious. And when the landmine starts to detonate based on external uh, experience, uh, you can check your mouth and see what's about to roll out of it. <laughs> you can check your mind and see what's about to spill out of it through your mouth. And you can check uh, the ego and see if it's in control. Is what I'm about to say uh, the level of a, a problem? Or is what I'm about to say or do the level of an answer, solution, of a higher frequency, a higher vibration? And now you're becoming conscious. You're becoming open. You're becoming available. You're becoming aware and the unconsciousness.